John is a full-powered, battery-powered engine, and he takes passengers in light coaches. He pretty much still enjoys it, too. He also remembers not to bump coaches, because they don't like to be bumped. One day, Casey was resting in a siding when John puffed up. Hey, John, I kind of like the way how you pull light coaches. Oh yeah, thanks. But there was one job that I hated back then on my old railway. What was it? It was this. Shunting coaches. One day, I came back from work and I was not in a good mood. I'm tired of shunting coaches. I want to see the world, I would say. My friends didn't take much notice because back then I was a little mixed traffic engine with a long tongue. But one night, one of my other friends named Bachelor came to the shed. He was a kind little engine and felt very sorry for me. John, I've got some trucks to take home tomorrow. If you take them instead, maybe I'll push coaches in the yard for you. Thank you, I said. That will be awesome. So the next morning, after my drivers and firemen said yes, I ran off happily to go find Bachelor's trucks. I didn't care how many trucks they were. I just couldn't wait. I was just too excited. I didn't even want to wait. I wanted to couple to the train very fast. Because I was just way too excited. Then the guard finally blew his whistle. All aboard, I said, let's go. I started to go out, but my trucks weren't ready. No, 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 we're not ready, he said. No, let's not go anywhere. But I pulled as hard as I could, and I left the station. I was steaming happily through the countryside, but my trucks were very cross. Stop! Stop! Let's hold him back! No! I don't want to go! No! No! Hold him back! Hold him back! Hold him back! Then I began to pop up a big hill. I have to stop, I said. I'm stopping. No, no, no! Go on! Go on! Go on! cried the trucks. They bumped me so hard that suddenly... I began to increase speed uncontrollably. Help! I want to stop! I cried. No, no! Go on! Go on! cried the trucks. Up ahead was the station I had to stop at. Oh dear, what shall I do? I cried. I reached through the station and into the rail yard. And up ahead was a pair of buffers. I prepared myself for the worst. But instead... Oh, phew, that was a close one, I said. But there, standing in front of me, was my boss. What are you doing here, John? Um, I've brought bachelor's trucks, I said. Have you, haven't you ever pulled trucks before? Um, yes, I mean, <sighs> no, sir. Well then, John, 
You got a lot to learn about trucks, and I hope you learned a valuable lesson. From this point on, till maybe for the next two months, you will be shunting trucks in the yard. Then you'll be a really useful engine. So, John, I think you must have learned a valuable lesson there. Yes, I did. It just was a horrible day, but I still remember it like it always is. Well, Casey, I had a good time talking to you, but I gotta go catch my next passenger train. Bye. Bye, John. It's good to remember days.